All right, hey everybody. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Halsby, and we're gonna be playing some PlayStation One today. So generally, uh, the last video I made was a Guild Wars Two playthrough. Uh, we started that. Uh, I'm also gonna be doing some PlayStation throwbacks as well. So this is gonna be the start of that. Um, what we're gonna be playing today is Driver. Uh, with that game, you are the wheelman. As so the title cover says. Uh, now that game came out back in 1999, uh, originally for PlayStation 1, and that game was kind of a staple towards uh, the open world driving games. Uh, it was kind of one of the first games that I was able to play where you were really kind of just able to just drive the car around and kind of do whatever you want, smash into things, and you know, it was pretty cool. Um, now it's obviously been around for a long time. Now it's kind of one of those throwback things because obviously 1999, come on, it's pretty long. Uh, you know, so I think without any further ado, how about we just go ahead and get the game started. Um, again, another thing I do want to point out is that this game is uh, also uh, one of PlayStation's um, number one games. Uh, one of the top games um, out of all of them. Uh, so. Also, another thing is still, this is my second video, uh, so give me a little bit of leeway if you don't mind on um, the vocals here. That would be awesome of you guys. So we're going to start this out, there's graphics, the cutscenes are already pretty cool. Um, obviously you can tell that this game was made back in 1999, uh, but uh, for its time, they were actually really, you know, the best, <laughs> probably the best graphics you could get for a video game. So, uh, it does go to show you though that we have come a long way, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a good game anymore. Alright, so if you guys are chatting me, uh, if I cannot actually open the chat box right now, so I have to see if I can pull that up on another way, because um, I'm not able to see anything. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, so if anybody chats me, we'll know. Perfect. So another thing I do want to say is Merry Christmas, everybody. Hopefully everybody play options in here as you can with many other games. Um, this is going to be the cop difficulty, so this is how hard the cops are that come after you. Uh, since I've played this game a lot a long time ago. Let's go ahead and put it on hard. And I don't... Okay, we'll leave the auto handbrake on if I remember correctly. I think it's actually best to do that. And everything else is good. So we'll go ahead and just hit back here. And uh, to start, you want to go under Undercover. Um, and that's going to be, you know, starting your campaign. So I'll just go ahead and start a new game because I don't have anything loaded. Truth is, Tanner, three years on the department and you're still the best driver I got. We don't get too many ex-racing boys in here. Low-life rumble in Miami is as a hunt on for a guy who can pump the gas. Big getaway, big job. Maybe even some kind of hit. Some hood by the name of Rufus is in the picture. We need a line on it. Coffee? Black, right? Guys upstairs were asking for you in person. Look, we need you to go on. All right. But no one's gonna know. Tenet McKenzie. If I bring anyone else in, I'll let you know. I need your badge. Any questions? No, I don't think I have any questions. I think I pretty much get the point. I'm going undercover and it might get ugly. 
All right. So the first thing we have to do here is um, this is basically your application. You're pretty much whoa, trying out for the job. So one thing is that the controls are from 1999, so it's a little bit uh, tricky to get the controls down. So I'm just gonna kind of probably blow this one. Um, just so that I can get the hang of it here. Okay. Actually, if I'm lucky, I might still get it all. Nope. Ah, uh, no, I hit the wall. Yep. The slalom part was always the hardest for me because of the cars and the way that the car controls. So I pretty much blew this one. And I failed the brake test. Alright. So that was, uh, let's just call this one a test and we'll start that back over here. Alright, speed brake, handbrake, and burnout done in one shot. So let's see the lap. All right, the lap's done. Let's see the slalom. One eighty and a three sixty. It didn't give it to me. What? Okay, now the reverse one eighty. That's the one I usually almost always end up not getting at the last minute. Ah, oh, I barely made it. Look at that. That's awesome. Alright, so now we get to continue. If you don't do that, you don't get to start the undercover story. Okay, so we have some different options here. Looks like we're in our apartment. Uh, we can either take a drive. If we take a drive, we'll just go out and um, kind of just drive around on our own. You can check your options here and you can get a new job and you can save the game all right so let's check out new job that's kind of the point here let's get on uh, through the story yeah. oh. inside so listen we want to use you on a bank job no hassle should be real sleepy you want in yes i do so we're gonna go ahead and hit that accept button there So the bang job. This is gonna be our first mission for the story. So let's see what uh, let's see what we have to do. I think this is the one where we just go ahead and pick them up. Um, all right. So I think we're in Miami. We have the mini map over here. Thankfully, my camera is not in the light, and uh, we have to go across that river now you can see where we have to go um, the map marker on this is the black triangle in the minimap um, as you get closer to it it gets smaller so you kind of just head in that direction and watch out for people who are actually probably driving through their own green lights like that person so once the car gets a little squirrely it's a little hard to get it back 
It also doesn't help that my controller that I'm using is a little old. Alright, so felony, look at that. We have committed a felony. We are being chased by the police. They are following us. Uh, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, now we got a tail, okay. Oops. Wow, it's been so long since I played this. Okay, alright, alright, hold it. So, now we lost them. You could hear it by the key. They said it. Uh, and, uh, the lights on the map stopped. So, we want to keep going in this direction for now. But we have a lot of damage, so we're actually probably, yeah, gonna lose. Alright. Oh, that's right. I put this on hard. Uh, that's probably why I just got creamed by the cops. Alright. Alright, so I gotta step my game up here. That was fun. Alright. So we're gonna go to the left. And to the right. Into the wall. And over the bridge. Okay, so I guess it would be pretty important to try not to get any damage to the car before I get there. Um, because to be honest with you, I could not tell you what the cheat codes are to repair my car uh, without blowing it up. Oh, look at that, I even got there early. Alright, so now we have to get away and we pretty much have as much time as we need to take. So I'm going to take a different way, uh, in a direction where there's no police, and I'm going to wait until... Uh, or not. Alright, so this is not letting me see behind. Okay, so we do have different views, but... My buttons don't work together to let me view back like you're supposed to, generally. Alright. Okay, so we've got a lot of damage here. Um, if I have to redo this, then I might just lower the police difficulty. Okay, maybe not. Let's go to the right. And... Okay, let me think for a second here. So, we're going to look at the map. So when we go in here, we can view the map. To see which way we need to go. Um, so I'm going to take a long way. So I'm probably going to go straight up to that uh, double wide highway and run across. Because that will give me a lot of space to move around the cops if I have to. Mm -hmm. 
especially with all this damage, it's not very good. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yep, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so... I'm gonna try that again. And uh, this time, like I said, I'm gonna just go ahead and lower that down just so that we can progress here. Okay, so I have to, uh, alright, alright, so in order to lower the, the, uh, difficulty, we have to go back out, so I'll have to load back in quick to it, it shouldn't take too long. Um, oh no, you know what? So I exited that, and I didn't save it in the house. Um... So, wow. Okay. Alright. So I'll have to do this one last time and get, uh, get back to where we were here. And make sure I save it next time. Before exiting. Truth is, Tanner. Three years on the depart. So I'm just going to skip that for now. Okay. Yes, I do. I am one of those people who move when they play a game. I don't know why, but I'm always back, forth, left, or right. It's like I'm trying to enter a cheat code. Alright. This time we're going to hit save game right away. So now... Alright. Alright, so we got our name entered. And we'll save it. Uh, this way, if we go to exit it again, then I don't have to worry about not having a game available. <laughs> 
All right. So now we can continue. We'll have to do the bank job again since I failed it twice anyway. No, three times, tw two, three times. I'm not sure. But since we failed it already, we'll have to just go ahead and start that anyway. So. Okay. Next, it's back to get a new job. You have. Uh, keep in mind, I, I failed that at least twice, and he says no hassle should be really easy. He lied. Don't trust voicemails. Lesson learned in the first mission. Oops. Alright, luckily if I damage the car too much before I get there, then uh, I will at least have an easier time getting away from the cobs and completing the mission. That, that, that sounds, that seems to be like a lot of people around my area. Right there, I just drive right out in front like that. Or run a red light like I did. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this would've been easier if I took the other highway. That's great. I love how I just saw him and there's a roadblock already. Ouch. Why did he have to do that? Yes. Alright, so he uh, just smashed into that car. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so at least I'm closer to where I have to be. That's crazy! I don't even know how it went in that way. Alright, so I can't go to the spot that I have to be at until that cop is done chasing me. And I have no room for error left. Okay, so thankfully he just died and I'm right down the street that's in here. Oh, no it's not! No! It was on the other side of the wall!
Okay, so I should have definitely been past this one by now. go a different way this time. Um, but, I mean, you can tell that you know, they did not make this game easy. They did make it challenging. Like, I saw the arrow and I saw the arrow was behind that wall, but it was already too late and I couldn't stop fast enough. Otherwise, I literally could have finished it right there, but I guess almost only counts in horseshoes. So, there we go. Alright, so now we get them back up. can't run people over in this, that's right, they all move. But the cars don't. Alright guys, so... If you guys played this game, go ahead and tell me down in the comments how many times it took you to either get past the uh, opening... Uh, tryout, or how long it took you to get past the first mission. Hopefully this should be the last time. So one thing you can do in here is weave in and out if you're careful enough not to smash into things. Um, and you can lose the cops by basically getting them destroyed. Alright, so once we lose this cop, we can go and uh, get in there and I uh, ship you okay. Just as long as I don't directly hit somebody. Kind of like that. That did not work the way I wanted it to. One thing I will say that gets a little bit annoying is that every time you go through a red light, they say, suspect just run a red. Okay. 
Alright, here we go. So, if I do recall from the options, there's nothing to change any of the commentary or frequency of it or anything like that, so. Okay, well, it's about time. We finally got through the first mission. And, uh,. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit save game. Because you should always save your game. Yes, to overwrite. Oh, it's going to make me enter another name again. I don't want to do that, so. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go uh, back in here. And hit continue. And we're going to accept another mission and uh, start it with that. Flame Grill Super Hot. Alright. So let's take that job. And we'll do the Nico job after that. I think I remember this one. I'm pretty sure you go, you, it, you swap cars, and you take it back, and basically don't damage it. But I don't remember if the cops are already looking for it. I know they say it's hot, so quite. Oh, yeah. I remember this car. Oh, I hated this car. Alright. Yeah. As soon as they see you, they just right on you. Okay. Oh jeez. Alright. So essentially, I can just kind of, you know, take it easy right now. And uh, if I do see a cop in front of me, kind of hang out a little bit and stay back. Um, if I'm lucky enough to catch him before I get too close. And providing he's not coming towards me. Like that. Yeah, like that, like that cop was. All right. Okay. Well, he's apparently already destroyed himself. So, hey, that works.
Alright. So, we have to just try to stay away from them as much as possible. If we get them, lose them right away. On top of that, ultimately, if you destroy the car, you're, you're done. Perfect. Let's go ahead and continue. Yeah, we're getting a new job. You have one new message. We want to talk to you. The marina on South Point. We'll just hang loose till you get your ass round here. Okay. We want to talk to you. The marina on South Point. We'll just hang loose. Alright, so apparently we can't accept the Nico mission right now, but we may be able to later. So we have to take this one first. Case for a key. Not quite sure that I remember this one yet. I just remember the one where you have the crazy guy. I think it, I think it's when you go to San Francisco. Uh, you get the one message by the crazy guy that goes, "Come you pee down Fisherman's Wharf." Think. It's pretty funny. Okay. I have no idea. I should check the map and see exactly how far out they are. Alright, I am going the right way, good. Ooh, there's a cop over there, so we're gonna go this way. Oh no. I didn't notice there's a time frame. Whoops. Alright, so I already had enough um, property damage, basically. You can build up a felony by causing property damage, um, and that will cause the police to start chasing you also, even if you're just driving along, you know, not doing anything wrong when you go past them, uh, they'll still start chasing you, like that one did. Okay, so I failed the mission.
Okay, so I'm just gonna try to lose them on the way and get there as quickly as I can so that I don't fail it for time. Like I did on the last run. Uh, and hopefully I can just lose them when I get there. Out of the way! See, you can beep the horn, but it really doesn't do anything. <laughs> they don't move. Oh, that was a pole. Now my computer's like struggling to render the game and stream, so apologize for the rendering issues. It's just uh, a lot of stress on my little computer. Boy, I don't think I'm going to make it. Okay, and plow through them. I didn't think I was going to make that. I had a good feeling that I was going to lose. The car was too destroyed and I got really wrapped up there. So let's go through this again. We're gonna go floor it. We're gonna try not to damage the car this time. I think that worked. But did I like run a red light or something? I mean... I don't know why he started chasing me. One thing I didn't point out is you have the little indicator there to uh, tell where they are behind you. Alright, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get through this because every time I do, I get busted. And then run out of time. This one, I think, took me a little while. Because no matter what, you have to go through the highway on either side. And it appears that the cops just jump right on you right away with, with, with or without a felony through this mission, so... Alright, so we're gonna do this one more time. Uh, if this doesn't succeed, uh, it looks like I might be running out of time here. What time is it? Okay. Alright, so let's see what happens here. Okay. okay, we're on the road. There's a cop up ahead. So let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Okay, that didn't really make a difference. He got me anyway. Alright. 
So yeah, it's like an instant crime. Just existing in this car is an instant crime. Apparently through this mission. Okay, and this time we're going to take the double highway. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing a lot better on time right now than the last time. I wasn't going to make this no matter which way I went. Okay, at least I pushed my way out of there. But hey. Alright. So, I think we're going to go ahead and end this for the day here. Um, I am going to go ahead and make another uh, video this week for the uh, Guild Wars 2 uh, playlist uh, so make sure you check that out if you do like this video if you like the stream go ahead and smash the like button uh, hit the subscribe button and also go ahead and leave me a comment too um, you can probably expect to see that Guild Wars 2 uh, video up on probably Monday it's probably gonna get done this weekend uh, so feel free to check that out also there will be a link in the description to the other playlists as well as this playlist um, and uh, again live, love, play take it easy, peace out guys thanks for watching